This drum machine is not Klaus Dinger or Jackie Liebzeit, but it deserves its place in the history of crowd rock drumming. I'm Heinbach and it's good to have you back. This is the Elka Drummer One, made in Italy in the early 1970s. The version you're seeing here is rebranded by Ecolette, which was a common practice at the time. Many German companies rebranded Italian instruments or had them built there and just put their badge onto it. The Drummer One is a preset drum machine, like you would find in an organ of the time. And there were many machines like it around, but it was much beloved by musicians of the crowd rock area because it had one special feature. There are many bands that are supposed to have used it, from Kraftwerk to Tangerine Dream, but there's one that I can confirm. And it also happens to be my most favorite band of all time. And Brian Eno seems to agree. He called them the most important rock band in the world. The crowd rock supergroup Harmonia, consisting of Rodelius, Möbius and Rother, who were also involved in Kraftwerk, Neu and Cluster, used this prominently on their records. You can hear the distinct thump of this machine especially well in their live recording. Now I can't play this here, else this video will get demonetized, but I've put a link in the description. Now what caused the popularity of the Elka Drummer One? While it is a preset machine, meaning you can't change or trigger the rhythms externally, you've got all these dials which allow you to strip down the presets to the bare minimum and then make them big again using effects Pressing two or more buttons will combine the rhythms, a trick that works on many of these types of machines. For shaping the sound of the drummer one, I like to employ this wonderful Blondertong audio baton, which is a filter bank slash EQ from the 1950s, a design that was copied by many, for example, Paolo Ketov for the wonderful Synced synthesizer. From there on I employ my trusty Space Echo as well as a cork filter.
joy of this machine is taking a preset rhythm like a tango, combine it with a polka, mix it differently and add effects to create something new. And this way you get endless possibilities. If you listen to the recordings by Harmonia, you can hear it's being pretty distorted. So I'm guessing they ran it through amps. But one thing they also did was record it very hot on tape. And that is something that I explored especially on my new EP with Look No Computer called Pipe Dreams. We only used this drum machine. <laughs> drums sound like a lindrum because it's like the sample down pitch down thing. If you like these sounds on my Patreon, you'll find a sample pack I made with individual hits at normal and half speed tempo as well as some funky loops from this machine. One thing that came in very handy was the single outputs. There's a big organ style connector on the back called Solo Rhythmer. Because we're struggling to get a part right on my SH2. <laughs> I wonder if you can even play that fast on this keyboard because it's so hackelig and double triggering. It's, it's annoying. Yeah, do you want to? That's why I said it, that's it, uh, it sounds like a Juno part. Let's do it. I'll take it down. Because I'll play it so much better and more in time. Exactly. <clears throat> because I, I know the keyboard is a pain. So we employed the Juno 60 and used an output from the back. Sam did a little mod to trigger the arpeggiator. And that made it stay in sync. And that resulted in the final song, the title song. Pipe dreams. Pipe dreams. Pipe dreams. Pipe dreams. Oh. Even today, a machine like this can inspire because you're working with the known and you're transforming it and the raw sound of it is just wonderful, especially because you can add mods. My tech, hi Bartosz, added a mod to the bass drum so it rings like an 808 and nothing, nothing ever like it sounded back in the day. Elka kept developing this machine a bit further, making it smaller and a little bit more <laughs> up to date for the times instead of this organ looking thing. And that resulted in the drum machine Sam and me used on Rotopops, our first collaborative EP. The Elka Drummer One already has a legendary status among drum machine aficionados, so these are not cheap. I think I paid 850 euros for it, which I think was still among a reasonable price for a fully working machine, but the price will only get higher with these. These are by now a part of history, but you can live it. It's a beautiful machine to work and record with. That's it for this video. You can find the P Pipe Dreams on Bandcamp, where it is name your price for just two more days. And you can find the sample pack from this on my Patreon. If you have any questions or stories related to this or similar machines, please drop them in the comments below. I always love to hear what you've got to say. Thank you all for watching. I'll be seeing you in the next one. Bye. editing me here. I never really checked what comes out of the solo rhythm output. I was thinking it would be the sounds, single sounds, but I haven't tested it. So it's time to try just that. The solo rhythm out produces pulses from each of the rhythms at different levels. So you can use this to control 
other instruments, which makes this especially fun if you're using it with a modular. But I wonder if this also goes the other way. I mean, if you can use these to control the instrument externally. Let's put a sequencer up here. Here we go. So we can absolutely control this with external CV. Out of the box. That's cool. This makes this so much more versatile than I ever thought. 